Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. So, so congratulations, sir. Thank you. I'm here with the winner, ladies and gentlemen. The winner and still the featherweight champion of the world, Alexander Volkanovsky. What a performance. What a fight. Tell us about the preparation for this fight. Yair is such an unusual fighter. What, if anything, was unusual or unexpected for you? I mean, the, the, you got to expect the unexpected. That's, that's your year. Everyone that knows this game knows how dangerous he was. I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you. Through camp, there was a bit of fear there, fear in his striking, knowing how dangerous it was, and that's the honest truth. Whether I put that in my head for my mindset to make sure I prepare properly, I don't know. But today, um, this week, I flipped the switch. I prepared how I did because of the man I respected. But a couple of days ago, mindset switch, I'm the, I'm the champ. I'm the king of this division. No one was ever stopping me. So this is where we come in and did our thing. You proved that tonight and made a great statement for you being the best pound-for-pound pound fighter on earth. You caught him with a right hook right here. You really rocked him. He stepped back. You closed in and closed the show. Yeah, that was, um, I knew that uh, when I started circling a certain way, he would switch, switch dance. Um, and then I knew that our right hook would be pretty good. So uh, I knew I was a lot stronger, but it was good. Uh, even though he was very dangerous on his feet, um, I knew I could uh, go on the feet or on the ground. I just told him in. We say who, you know, people talk about being well-rounded. I've showed I could wrestle, I show I could grab, I can show I could strike with the best of them. Uh, I'm really coming for all those, uh, all them records. I'm uh, pretty close to, to knocking off a few of those. I've got a lot of goals ahead, but hey, sky's the limit. I might be in this position right now, but I guarantee you I'll be in the gym next week, bust the again. No doubt. Now, sir, what is next for you? You just turned back the most significant challenge in this division. What do you see out in the future? Are you thinking about 55? Are you thinking about more title defenses at 45? I mean, there's a few options. You know, I've just got to go back and see what's the best. I'll be completely honest with you. I need to uh, get, a, get a little bit of surgery on my arm. Uh, going through camp was, a, was a, a bit of a struggle, but I was always going to turn up here and do my thing. But I'll go get that surgery as soon as I get home, and I'll be back in. Uh, I still want one this year, so I'll make sure I, I, I stay fit while I'm in recovery, and I'll be back in here soon. I, hey, I want that. Hey, I want that lightweight belt. I'm still coming for that. Whoever's next, Ilya been running his mouth. If he wants to keep going, I'll show him what's up and I'll squash him too. Well, sir, it's always an honor to watch you perform. Congratulations on once again defending your title. You are the best. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Volkanovsky.